Okay, now we'll consider different utility functions. Say for example, u1 is equal to root of w. This is one utility function. Other is u2 equals to um, w minus 90. That is another utility function. And u3 is equal to w squared by, by 1000. So you have these three utility functions with you. Okay, and, uh, and uh, say wealth is equal to 100 okay wealth is equal to 100 so what is the utility here in this case it is root of 100 equals to 10 then you have u2 equals to 100 minus 90 which is 10 and u3 is basically equal to 100 square by 1000 which is also equal to 10 this is 10 to the power 3 okay okay so you have utilities which are same in all the cases okay that is the case without gamble so this much utility you have over wealth without gamble without gamble without gamble okay that is in all the cases say you have this utility uh, over wealth which you're getting without gamble now supposedly if you have to play one gamble gamble what is that gamble your gamble is say you flip a coin okay it can turn either head or it can turn tail probability you will be winning in case if you are in case of the coin turns head and you will lose if coin turns tail you will uh, win 100 dollars uh, if coin turns head and you will lose see how much hundred dollars huh? or you can also say two hundred dollars okay so you you win two hundred dollars huh? in case uh, head turns up and you lose hundred dollars in case it in case head turns up huh? okay now in the first case Let's take up the first case. Uh, first of all, let's find out what is the expected value of, of this gamble. Expected value of this gamble is probability of winning into the value of wealth on winning plus probability of losing into the value of losing. So what is the probability of winning? 1 by 2. Huh? Value of winning is? 100 plus 200 that is 300 dollars plus 1 by 2 into 100 minus 100 that is 0 yeah so that is 150 dollars so this is definitely better than a fair bet okay fair bet would have fetched you an expected uh, expected value of 0 okay but in this case you are getting better than a fair bet uh, so 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 what happens is what happens is that uh, that uh, let's try to look at the first case which is u1 is equal to root of w okay let's try to look at and and we also know this that your expected utility in this case would be probability of winning into the utility of winning plus probability of losing into utility of losing so what is the probability of winning is half into utility of winning would be would be what your root of 300 uh, because your utility function is is root of w you already have the wealth of hundred dollars as as we have just mentioned out here this $100 wealth you have huh? 
and 200 you have got on winning so it is root of 300 plus probability of losing is half into this would be 100 minus 100 huh so so it is what 1 by 2 into root of 300 now root of 300 would be I guess uh, approximately approximately let's say it is 17 hmm. so it is 8.5 clear done so this fellow as you could see is better off his expected utility over with gamble it is lesser than the utility without gamble huh so he would not play such kind of a gamble okay so he's better off without playing this gamble okay so his joy from winning is is lesser than the pain from losing okay and this is happening because you have a diminishing marginal utility okay over wealth in case if you in case if you look at this kind of uh, a function you'll find this that this function exhibits diminishing marginal utility huh now this person is basically this person who has this kind of utility function is basically risk averse function risk averse individual okay risk averse individual so risk averse individual will not accept a fair bet let's talk about this function u2 is equal to w minus 90 huh in this case what would be your uh, your expected utility okay as you could see this is a linear function if this is linear in wealth okay now now i'm not writing this formula again and again so i'm just writing out so what is your eu is probability of winning into the utility of winning would be utility of winning would be your wealth would become your already you have the wealth of 100 plus 200 you have got minus 90 this is the utility function plus probability of losing already you have a wealth of 100 minus you lose 100 minus 90 which is the utility function so you have what half into 300 minus 90 plus half into minus 90 okay so it is what this is 210 plus half into minus 90 okay and that would have been 1 by 2 into 210 minus 90 would have given you 1 by 2 60 hmm? now this person's expected utility is 60 okay which is greater than the utility which he gets without playing a gamble this was his utility without playing a gamble okay now this is his expected utility in case if he plays the gamble okay now in this case in this case he would take this gamble he is a risk neutral person he is a risk neutral person okay so and uh, he will take any fair bet okay so in this case joy of winning is equal to pain of losing now other is basically the case of your u3 is w square by 1000 huh w square by 1000 in this case probability of winning into the utility of of winning would which would be 100 plus 200 square by 1000 plus probability of losing into utility of losing would be 100 minus 100 square by 1000 so this would give you 300 
into 300 by 1000 plus 0 because this will become 0 and this would be what? This is 15 into 3. This would be 45. Huh? This would be 45. And this is the case of increasing marginal utility. Okay. This is the case of increasing marginal utility. And he's a risk loving person. He's a risk loving person. So, in this case, joy of winning is greater than pain of losing, okay? So, so whether you are risk averse or risk loving or risk neutral, whether you will accept the gamble, it depends on the kind of the utility function which you have, okay? So, this is, this is the point. So, in this case, you will be happier taking up the gamble, okay? So, in these cases, what we have seen is that in this case, where he is a risk averse individual, he has diminishing marginal utility over well. This guy who is risk neutral, he has constant marginal utility over well. This guy who has this kind of utility function, he has increasing marginal utility over wealth. Okay. So whether you will be a risk lover, risk loving or risk neutral person depends on the kind of utility function you are facing, the kind of the assumption of the marginal utility which you have. Huh?